so this is my primary uh, vpc 10.00103 primary vpc so now i am i am here over here okay in this public server i'll try to access google.com ping then space uh, google.com then hit enter i'm able to access google right i'm able to access right any doubts no i'm able to access so let me check amazon.com so ping then i will replace this google.com into amazon.com amazon.com I'm able to access Amazon as well, right? And you can see over here IP address 54, 239, 228, and 85. This is Amazon public IP address. Okay, fine. So now what I will do here, I will clean everything. Okay. So you can see the IP address 10.000103, my public server in primary VPC, right? I'll go to my domain list. Okay. First, I need to create a domain list. I'll go to domain list. So add a domain list. First step, we need to go to domain list. We have only two options. So the first one is domain list, another one is a rule group. So first I need to go to where? Domain, domain list. We need to create a set of domain. For example, which are the domain he should not access? Which are the domain he should access? So I'll go to domain list, then add a domain list. Okay. So I have to provide a name. So I will give AWS uh, test class. Okay, AWS test class. Then I will give domain name one by one. Okay, one domain name in one layer. Okay. So first I will uh, create google.com, google.com, second I will provide a facebook.com, okay, facebook.com, so now I given two domains, right, one is a google, another one, facebook.com, Facebook so previously we were able to access google.com, right, okay, so now I'll come down, then add a domain list, so successfully add a domain list, you can see that AWS test class, right, okay, so now I'll go to my rule group, so just add a rule group, click over here, select a name, so I will select AWS class firewall, you can put any uh, description if you want, it's optional. Next, so next add a rules, okay, I will keep it as empty now, next, next, next. Create a rule group. So now I created one rule group AWS class firewall. Right. Open this. And you can see that we have an option over here associated VPCs and rules. Right. As of now, I didn't add any rule. Same as as of now, I, did, I didn't associate it with any VPCs. Right. First, I'll go to rule. What is the rule name we created? Mm -hmm. eh? What? Ah, AWS? No, AWS test class, right? Uh, I'll create one name over here, AWS test rules. So we have a two option over here. One is a domain list, uh, custom domain or on domain list. Another one is a AWS managed. See, if you select AWS managed, so there will be have a some set of domain list. Okay, some threat list in the sense, uh, for example, some hacking website. Okay, suppose uh, when you are accessing from your virtual machine, so those kind of website. Okay, your virtual machine will be hacked. Okay, so what we can do here, either we can go with the AWS managed domain list or else we can go with the added domain on domain list. A anyway, I have been already created a domain list, right? Two domains. So I will select my domain list. What is the name? AWS. AWS test class. I will select the domain list. Uh, then what is the action? Allow or deny? We need to deny because by default it is allowing, right? Select allow, then uh, we can block. Okay, then I will uh, click add a rule. Okay, successfully I added this rule. So next, associate VPCs. Okay, I have to associate VPC. So still I'm able to access, I'll show you that if I go to my uh, VPC, so ping google.com, still I'm able to access internet, right? Mm -hmm. Still I'm able to access internet. So once I associate with the VPC, then uh, I would not be able to access. I'll go to my uh, domain list again. So associate VPC. Uh, select your VPC. What is the VPC name? Primary. Primary VPC. Select VPC associate. So now it's updating. So once it update, then I would not be able to access. Let's wait. Let me try. Okay, still I'm able to access. Once it updates successfully, I would not be able to access my uh, Google.com. Let's try. Updating. Let's wait.
status is updating wait So now you can see that uh, I'm not getting replay, right? It's got stuck. If I refresh this, wait. Uh, SSH minus I. What is the name? Key name, right? Key one, EC2 minus user at the right. Public IP address. I'll go to my EC2, get my public primary subnet and uh, virtual machine IP address and paste all. Okay, this is private IP address, right? Mm -hmm. I have to take public IP address. Okay, successfully connected, right? So let me check with the Amazon.com. Ping Amazon.com. Internet connectivity should be. So let me connect with my Wi Fi. One minute. So now I'm able to access google.com. Let me try with amazon.com. Sorry, facebook.com. See, I'm not able to access facebook.com. Listen, I'm not able to access facebook.com. Ping facebook.com name or services. What? Not known. So let me try with the google.com. Ping google.com. I'm able to access, right? Okay. So I'll go to my rule again, VPC, okay, this rule, domain rule. So I will add it one more domain. What is it? Google.com. Google .com. Okay. Then add. Okay, now you can see that I have a two domains. One is a Facebook, another one is a Google.com. I'll go to my server again. So previously I was able to access internet, right? So Google.com, okay, let's wait. It will take some time to come effect, okay. Okay. 
anyway uh, by using this uh, like domain firewall we can restrict the connection to google or uh, any other website okay in production scenario so we need to remove all the permission from our uh, private virtual machine even if you have a internet connection we need to restrict the permission from outside okay so at that scenario you can use this uh, domain list okay any doubts any doubts no few is uh, so should i repeat this once again no no okay only two steps one is a uh, domain list second is rule groups let me just stop this